If you're using your favorite graphics program and you see a drop down list with all these weird options that look like they're for special people, well, guess what? You're special and also you can learn how to use them too. Today we're going to talk about multiply, which is the easiest to understand of all these modes. Here I have an image and on a different layer I have these rectangles that have varying levels of gray in them and they're all set to multiply. Look what happens if I drag my rectangles over my image here. You can see that it's starting to make it darker. You may wonder why it's called multiply if it makes something darker. Well, it's called multiply because it treats your grayscale value as something between 0 and 1. In other words, 0 0.000 or up to 1.0. When you multiply that number by the value of the layer below it, it will reduce the brightness. Let's look at a practical example. Here I have a photo of a ball, and if I want, I can turn on my multiply layer to add a shadow into it. This is something I painted with the paintbrush earlier. Multiply is also super useful when you're trying to add texture to something. Here I have a slogan, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy this canvas texture over to my image. If I set the layer to multiply, it actually looks like this text was printed on canvas. Of course, you can adjust the opacity to get the desired effect. So that's a crash course in multiply. If you learned anything in this video, be sure to click the thumbs up button and stay tuned for more videos.